Okay, so let me start this video with a massive apology. I'm pretty sure I filmed the original video to these shoes coming up to two years ago now. And in that video, I promised you a follow-up on how they got on, what their durability was like, and basically, is this shoe a good shoe? Well, here we are two years later. Let's just say that I wanted to give you a real world test. Let's get into it. So this shoe, the Aerius FL Mid, has been my go-to shoe for pretty much every adventure over the last two years. Um, from up here with the dogs in our local woodland, out in the fells and around the lakes here in the Lake District, but more importantly, I also was able to take this shoe uh, to ski resorts, walking the dog in the snow and getting around the villages, and believe it or not, also to the hot climate of Borneo, where I was cement mixing, out in the rainforest, uh, doing some conservation work. So this shoe really has been put through its paces. Let's talk about comfort. Well, if I'm being honest, the reason that I use these shoes pretty much every day is because they are beyond comfortable. Um, I don't know if it's they just fit my feet, but the comfort has not changed throughout the years of use. So I would definitely say if you are looking for a comfortable shoe that you can wear every day to get outside, then this is one that's worth considering. Secondly, let's talk about the durability of the shoe. As you can probably tell, I have not spent a lot of time looking after these shoes. I think in the time that I have owned them, I have reproofed them once with a rub-on reproofer just because they were wetting out. Besides from that, the waterproofing has lasted really, really well. Again, when you look at the shoe, you will see lots of little bits of cement which are left over from my trip to Borneo, so it's not like I've cared for them. In general, they've held up really nicely and um, there is a little bit of taping that is coming undone on one of the shoes uh, and the lugs are still in really good condition meaning that the grip is good i would say that a lot of my walking is out here in the woodland or up on fells so i'm walking on grass uh, whether the sole would have lasted just as well if i was doing a lot of concrete walking i don't know this shoe is available in both a low and a mid style. And those of you who watched my original video will know that I used to own the low and I left them at a campsite. So when I was replacing them, I actually opted for the mid because I wanted a little bit more support. If I had one con from this shoe, I don't feel like the mid offers any support in addition to what the low does. The only benefit of having the mid shoe over the low is that it keeps your foot a little bit drier in uh, long grass, etc. But besides from that, that was a little bit disappointing. Okay, so let's get to the nuts and bolts. Are these shoes, the Arterix FL Mid GTX, good value for money? Well, here in the UK, they retail for around 160 pounds. Now, for a shoe that I've used multiple times a week over the past two years with minimal signs of wear and tear, I would say, yeah, I found them comfortable, I've been happy to wear them and take them on longer walks, shorter walks, uh, on hot days, on wet days. It's been a great all round shoe for me. I'd love to hear your opinions on whether you've had this shoe, whether it's lasted, because I have heard about some people who have had durability issues. Okay, so that is it. That is my view on the Arc'teryx walking shoe that I've been using for the last couple of years. I'd love to hear from you. Are there any walking shoes that you'd like me to try out? Drop them down below in the comments and I will go and take a look at them. Similarly, if you found value in this video, please subscribe to the channel, hit that thumb, and you can always support the channel by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description. Thank you for your time, and I will see you soon with another video.